everybody out there in YouTube land. You, the screen's backwards. So we're doing, uh, we're vlogging, vlogging, McVlogging, vlogging. This is a result of polar vortex. Actually, this is, this is like a third of the polar vortex because the weather is uh, so much better today. It's actually warmer outside than it is in my garage right now. Which is kind of crazy. It's, it's, uh, it's probably like, I don't know, 40 something outside, which is nice. So much nicer than one, which is what it was a couple days ago. So, um, there's one, uh, main thing that, uh, we're doing today, and at first I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna make a video about it, but I figured people always ask me about the, the food that I'm eating, and if I cook it or not, and, and how I know what I'm doing, and all that stuff, and, uh, this video here is to prove I do not know what I'm doing. Uh, so right now, we got, uh, a bowl. Of, of butter it's real butter not margarine or anything it's real actual butter and we're uh, putting it in the microwave to melt that down and the reason that we're melting it down is because we got this so that's a turkey it's not a big turkey it's a uh, it's a 14 pound 15 pound turkey so it's not a big turkey but I bet you noticed something looked a little odd about it so I was trying to figure out a way to make this turkey because I don't have I don't have the proper equipment to make a turkey I mean I have an old stove where the oven only works halfway I don't have any pans I don't have a roaster I don't have a deep fryer to, to, to deep fry it in so I didn't know how to make it well, a guy at work told me I should spatchcock it, and I I thought, what the, what the hell does that mean? I don't know what I don't know what that means. And he's like, well, you take it, you take it, you you flip it over on its back, and you cut it in half, right? And then you like flip it over and flatten it out, so it's laying flat with the it's like back broken or whatever. And so I thought, oh, that sounds kind of cool. Maybe I can do that. So I had to figure out how to do that. How, how do I take the turkey and cut it open from the back and flip it over and all that. So to be honest, it was a lot easier than I thought it'd be. Um, I mean, I thought it'd be, you know, I thought I'd need some sort of like hacksaw or something. I mean, that's what you gotta do when you process a large game, man. Well, you need, if you wanna cut it, you gotta get some sort of saw and, and cut it up. But uh, actually, I've got this I got this knife right here. It's just like a, a bread knife, sort of. And uh, I just went along the back of the spine and cut it. And and it actually it cut real simple. Even when I got to the uh, to the pelvis where the hip bone is, where the uh, where the thigh thighs are, it 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 hung up for a second. But it actually was relatively simple to get through, and that was surprising. So. I thought about filming before I did that so you could watch that, but then there, there's turkey, there's raw meat you're messing with, and it's on your hands, and you're touching the camera, and it's getting all over the camera, and it's, it's, it's all real pain. So, so I mean, it's, so I, I didn't do that. I just, I just put it here. So right now I'm just kind of basing the turkey with the, with the melted butter. You saw that it was like a half a stick of butter, but it's actually closer to the full, a full stick, because I, I I put more on earlier. So I just want to make sure that I get it all covered. And it's actually what's funny is the butter is, the, the turkey is still cold, even though this turkey has sat out on, it's, it sat out on my counter for two whole days. I put it in the fridge and it's been sitting in the fridge for a week. So it's been slowly thawing at like 50, you know, 50 degrees Fahrenheit for a week. And it's still, when I took it out, there were still lumps of ice in inside the turkey. It's, it's, it's still sort of frozen. So it's cold and the butter's re-solidifying, which is kind of cool because that means the butter's going to stay on it longer. So, I mean, I don't know about you know, flavoring a turkey and, and all that stuff. I just figured the the 
butter basting was obvious. And uh, so, I mean, I don't, I don't know what, <clears throat> I don't know what kind of flavoring you put on a turkey. But I'm gonna throw this roasted garlic and herb grill mates so seasoning on top of it, just for funsies, I guess. All right. So I mentioned that I don't have a deep fryer or a roaster or you know a pan or anything large enough to make this turkey in. And you saw it sit on the baking sheet. I'm not gonna leave it on the baking sheet. And, and, and put it in the oven. So you're probably wondering how I'm going to make this turkey. Well, I figured, since I like using the grill so much, I would throw it on the old charcoal grill. So, I'm going to get the grill ready, and then we're going to throw this turkey on the grill. It is Saturday, so we're uploading a video. on my grilling gloves. I usually reuse my charcoal. Oh, no, it's <coughs> I had no idea how this is going to turn out, but it smells awfully roasted garlicky in here. Ten minutes later, where are we at? Ooh, yeah. Now we wait. It is extremely imperative that that gets to set without being disturbed in order to keep all the heat inside the grill so that the turkey cooks like it's supposed to. But since I don't know what I'm doing, there's no way I'm not gonna check it a ton. Also, I'm not entirely sure uh, how to regulate the grill for long, longer term, uh, longer term cooking, which the turkey's gonna require. So, uh, I totally don't know what I'm doing, and y'all get to see it.
All right, so it's been on there for about an hour and we're about halfway to temperature. Woo! And after three long, glorious, grueling hours, so good yeah so you can make a turkey on a, on a grill that's that's uh that's awesome here's your finished product turkey peas and the mashed sweet potato that should be good i also don't know how to carve a turkey <laughs>